reading time with Gucci. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Ever After High, the storybook of legend by Shannon Hale. So without further ado, let's get along with the video. I would recommend this book for kids of age 9 to 11. On Legacy Day each year, the students of Ever After High Boarding School sign the Storybook of Legends and pledge to fulfill their destinies as the next generation of Snow Whites, Prince Charmings and Evil Queens. Everyone believes that refusing to sign means both you and your story will vanish forever. Poof! Raven Queen, however, is having doubts. As the daughter of the evil queen, it is her destiny to give the poisoned apple to Snow White's daughter. But Raven has a spark of rebellion in her heart, and she knows one thing for sure. Evil is so not her style. On the other hand, the royal apple white, daughter of the fairest of them all, cannot wait for Legacy Day. It will be the day she shuts the book on getting her happily ever after. But her destiny is intertwined with Raven's, and if Rebel Raven doesn't sign the storybook of legends, it could mean a happily never after for both of them. The end is just the beginning. This is the front cover of the book. Ever After High is a boarding school for the future generations of Snow Whites, Evil Queens, Prince Charmings, and all the other fairy tale characters. Every single person in Ever After has a job, and that's to make sure the stories we hear, like Cinderella, the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and all the other stories live on. Now, there's a thing called Legacy Day, where all the children sign the storybook of legends and pledge to do what their ancestors did and that to follow their destiny. But however, Raven Queen, the daughter of the evil queen, you know that evil queen all right, the one who poisoned Snow White? She has to poison the daughter of Snow White and she doesn't want to do that because well, Evil, she just doesn't want to be evil. But in Ever After, there's no such thing called choice. Choice is like a swear word there. So you should never use the word choice. But Raven really, really, really doesn't want to be like her mother. So should she not sign the storybook of legends? But then Headmaster Grimm is threatening that if she doesn't sign the storybook of legends, her story and herself will go poof. And that means she might disappear and her story will cease to exist. What do you think she'll do? That's where I leave it to you to find out. The characters in this story are, of course, Raven Queen and Apple White, daughter of the Evil Queen and Snow White, respectively. And there are many more characters. Madeline Hatter, daughter of the Mad Adder of Wonderland. Then there is Cedar Wood. You know Pinocchio, the one with the long nose when he tells a lie? Yep, his daughter. Then there's Ashlinella, daughter of Cinderella. And she, everything kind of unravels for her at noon or midnight when the clock strikes 12. And there are many more characters like Dexter Charming, Daring Charming, Darling Charming. There are a lot of Charmings in the story. <laughs> and then there are Hunter Huntsman's son, Cerise Hood, the daughter of Little Red Riding Hood. There are many more. The message this story is trying to convey is that your story is yours to write and nothing or no one should influence it. You should write your own story. It should not be written for you. What's the fun in that? I absolutely love this story because um, at first when I got this book, I wasn't actually that happy because I remember I wrote a letter to Santa asking him for 
the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, but unfortunately, instead of that, I got this book. And I remember I was quite, actually a lot, disappointed. And But when I read it, it's such a um, great book. Even though it sounds like a fantasy tale that never is true, you kind of can relate it to your own life. You should never, no one should try and influence you on what you want to be because that's you to decide. You should not let anyone else do that. And in this book, that's what it tells. Raven doesn't want to follow her story. The story that her mother did, her grandmother, her great-grandmother, her great-great-grandmother and all her family. But she doesn't want to do that anymore because, well, it's like someone has written a story and says well literally someone has written a story and told it you have to play this or else you won't exist but that's not true you can be whatever you want to be and that's not just for raven and that's for you too hope you like the video and make sure to like share and subscribe to both my channels reading time with duty and my other channel Learning Time with Duty. The link will be in the description box down below. Bye!